pain, suffering, and sometimes even persecution can be a part of God's will. And I think one of the greatest examples of persecution is what happened to the first Christians. We've seen how when one is filled with the Holy Spirit, they can be given power to heal. They can be given ideas from God. But the Holy Spirit can also empower individuals to endure persecution. And we see examples of this from the life of the disciples. You know, when Jesus was arrested, Peter became so afraid of being persecuted that he denied that he even knew who Jesus was. He denied that he was even a friend of Jesus. And even after Jesus was killed, all of the disciples were scared and in fear that they would be arrested too. And they were hiding from the Jewish leaders. They weren't bold at all, basically, at that point. They, they had no courageousness. They were scared. This was how they were. But the moment that the power of the Holy Spirit hit them and filled them, everything changed. I mean, just look at Peter. You know, when the, when the power of the Holy Spirit hit him, he went from being afraid of the authorities and being locked up to being so bold that he was willing to go into Jerusalem and courageously preach the gospel in the face of death. He was, you know, once he was filled with the Holy Spirit, he and the other disciples became an unstoppable force. They were beaten. They were abused. They were often thrown in jail for preaching the gospel. But the Holy Spirit changed them. They were somehow able to endure suffering and persecution. And no matter how often they were beaten or imprisoned, they never backed down. You see, the power of the Holy Spirit can not only do miraculous things to enhance the gospel, but it can also give you power to endure persecution for the sake of the gospel. And power to endure persecution is a big part of being a witness for God. You see, it wasn't enough that the disciples did miracles. It wasn't enough that they were doing mighty works and wonders in the name of Jesus. No, if they were going to truly be powerful, if their message was truly going to reach the ends of the earth, well, God in his wisdom knew what had to happen. He knew that his people would have to suffer for his name because the greatest testimony always comes through the endurance of suffering. And so the first Christians, they had to be empowered by the Holy Spirit to not only heal, but to be bold, to be courageous, because they would have to face whips. Some of them faced being stoned to death. Do not hold this sin against. <laughs> and many of them even had to face lions. Historical documents show that the Roman Emperor Nero was one of the most gruesome torturers of Christians. When Nero rose to power, he didn't like this message of the kingdom of God. He wanted to be the only king that was praised. He didn't want to hear people talking about this new king. And so Nero, he, he had the first Christians brutally killed. Many of them were burned and used as lamps to light the city streets. And when he wasn't burning Christians alive, he would make them face the arena.
You see, at that time, it was common for Christians to be thrown into the Roman arenas. Lions and beasts would be unleashed. And Nero and the crowds, they made a sport out of shredding believers to pieces. But their suffering was not in vain. In fact, it provided a great testimony to their faith. Because you see, these Christians, they had seen the miracles. <laughs> Many of them performed miracles. Some of them were even around when Jesus was crucified and rose again. And so these first Christians were completely convinced of the gospel. In fact, they were so convinced about who God is that they were willing to be brutally killed. Now, let's just be real here. You know, when you're not really sure about something, usually you wouldn't allow yourself to be tortured for it. You know, but these first Christians, man, they were so convinced about God that they boldly declared that Jesus was their king. And the Holy Spirit gave them power to fearlessly stand. And because of their sacrifice, their example of bold faith, their willingness to show that they are so confident in who Jesus is, that they would face whips, they would face beasts, they would face anything because they want the world to know that they believe in Jesus. They have seen him, they have experienced him, and they would never deny him. And because of their bold faith, the gospel is preached worldwide today. The Bible is the best-selling book of all time. And nearly every nation knows who Jesus is. Even if you ask an atheist who is the king of kings, they know the name Jesus. The miracles were effective. The persecution, it worked. And nothing can erase the fact that the Holy Spirit took a message that was given to a few and multiplied it to many. And so the amazing thing is, we all get to be a part of this story. And we still have work to do to spread the message about the King. So stay tuned because this month we release the movie on the kingdom of God.